Hi, this is Marcia Jeans, Instructional Technology Specialist, and in this video I will show you how to add your own graphics to Smart Notebook 10.0. Now you probably know by now that Smart Notebook 10.0 has a wonderful gallery with lots of different images, um, clip art, and graphics. However, it doesn't have everything that you want or need. So in this video I will show you how you can add your own touch to your lessons. I'll show you three things today. How to get clip art from the internet, a uh, site I'm going to be taking to is called Pics for Learning. I'm um, also going to show you how to take images from your digital camera and put those into Smart Notebook. And then also I'll show you how to go to the web and grab images from there. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a place called Pics for Learning. I really like it because it's royalty free, copyright free images that can be used by educators and your students. So it's a great place to go for projects when you need images. It's broken down by category, or you can also just uh, do a simple search. So I'm going to search for a butterfly, and I'm going to click Go. And here's my results. I've got actually quite a few pages. You can see that I actually have more than 10 pages worth of results. I'm going to click on an image to get it a little bit larger. I'll scroll down so you can see it. And if you like the image, you can simply just right-click on it, copy, and then go back into your Smart Notebook file. I think I'll go ahead and add another page. And then you can right click and paste. And in comes the image. Now if it's a little large like this one, it's very simple. I may have to drag it just a little bit and try to get down to the corner. And when you click on it, of course you want the a white circle in the corner. And then you can drag it to its appropriate size. Now I want you to be a little bit careful when you use that with images because it's really easy to accidentally distort your images. Let me just show you an example. I'm going to make it a little smaller and I'm going to kind of mess it up a little bit. See how I can can um, distort that image quite a bit if I'm not careful. So I'm going to give you a little trick on how not to do that. When you're dragging by the circle, if you hold your shift key down, then it will retain all the proportion that it should and it won't distort your graphic. So the little shift key while you're dragging is a great um, example of how to keep that image looking the way it should. Okay, so that's Pics for Learning, and of course there's other ones as well out there. Now let's show you how you can do the digital camera. Now I have already downloaded some images from my digital camera onto my computer. So after you've got that done, uh, let's go ahead and show you how to do that. You're going to go to Insert, Picture File, and then you browse wherever you put your picture. I happen to have it right here in this folder. Um, I can't really see those images, so I'm going to change the image view to a thumbnail view, and there they are. So I'm going to pick one and open it, and voila. This is a great way to uh, personalize your lessons with your students um, in your classroom. And again, I probably want to make that a little smaller, and I can move it around to wherever I want it to go. So that's as simple as that. That's very easy to do. Now let's do one more. This time I'm going to take you to a website. And you know, with the Olympics just getting over, um, you know, Michael Phelps is pretty popular. So here's an image of him that I might want to grab and um, put in a lesson. So again, you're going to right click on the image and you're going to go to copy. And then I'm going to go to my notebook file and I'll get on another page and you can paste. Another way you can paste is you control V, which control is V is in Victor, and again there you go. One thing that you might want to get in the habit of doing is to um, cite your sources of where you're getting images. It's pretty easy to do. Take your cursor and click it once up into the address bar, then copy that. I like the control C, and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to paste control V into my file. Now that's a little bit big so I can click on it and I'm going to make it a little smaller so at least I'm citing my sources. Notice it automatically makes a hyperlink to that web page and you're just showing good practices uh, when you're working with your students. So there you go. That's how you can simply add some of your own images into your Smart Notebook software. It's very easy to do and I think you'll really like it.